As always, bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today, we're making a classic Spanish recipe, this time from the beautiful region of La Rioja, which are famously known for their elegant wines and their stunning architecture. Anyways, we are talking bacalao a la riojana. This dish is basically called that you fry an extra virgin olive oil and then you finish it off in a chunky sauce that's filled with so many amazing deaths of flavors. Folks, not only is this recipe very easy to make, but it comes together in about 30 minutes, making it the perfect dish for a busy weeknight dinner or even for a relaxed weekend lunch. Either way, make sure to serve this dish next to a bottle of Spanish wine from the region of La Rioja and a crunchy baguette to mop up all that goodness. All right, let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm gonna thinly slice one medium-sized onion, thinly slice four cloves of garlic, and cut two jarred roasted red bell peppers into thin strips. If you can't find jarred roasted peppers in your area, you can just roast your own at home. You'll find a link on how to do that in the description box below. Then we'll finally grate six tomatoes to end up with about one and a half cups of tomato sauce, which is 360 grams. Of course, you can skip this step and just use canned tomato sauce or even pasata. But let me tell you by finely grating the fresh tomatoes is what gives this dish that authentic Spanish touch. And we'll add in two cod fillets over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. The size of each fillet is eight ounces, which is about 250 grams. And I did buy the cod frozen and thawed it out just to make things easier and cheaper. Of course, you can also use fresh cod here if you like, or any other type of firm white fish. Then we'll season the cod with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll coat the fillets in some all-purpose flour making sure to evenly coat them all around. And let me tell you, by taking this step, it's not only gonna give the fish a beautiful crust in the outside, but it's also gonna ensure that it stays nice and moist and that it doesn't fall apart once it's cooked. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. Once the oil is nice and hot, but it's not smoking, we'll add in the cod fillets into the pan. And we're gonna go for about two minutes per side here. And at this stage, you don't wanna fully cook the cod fillets through, just go for a few minutes or until they're lightly golden fried. Once the cod fillets are lightly golden fried all around, and once again, they don't have to be fully cooked through at this stage, We'll remove them from the fry pan and set them aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, we'll add in the sliced onion and garlic. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're coated in that olive oil. And since we cut the onion and garlic into larger chunks, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there every minute or so, that way everything evenly sautés. After about four to five minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about two and a half grams. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way the paprika is evenly coating all the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below, and if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in half a cup of white wine, which is 120 milliliters. And we'll give it a mix and then simmer it for a couple minutes. If white wine is not your thing or alcohol in general, you can substitute it for the same amount of any broth you like with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. After about three minutes and the alcohol has cooked off in the wine and you can see it's reduced in half, we'll add in the grated tomato along with the strips of roasted red bell pepper. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. If you see that your tomatoes are a bit too acidic, just add in a pinch of sugar in there or even a little baking soda. And we'll give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together. Then we'll add in two bay leaves and then simmer it for about 10 minutes on a medium heat. That way the tomato sauce can slightly thicken up and all the flavors can develop. After about 10 minutes, and you can see the grated tomato has slightly thickened up, we'll add in the cod fillets back into the pan.
and we'll give them a gentle flip. That way they're fully coated in the sauce. Then we'll place the lid on the pan and we're gonna to continue to simmer this for another two to three minutes or until those cod fillets are fully cooked through. Once the cod fillets are fully cooked through, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the fry pan from the heat and we'll transfer some of the mixture into a serving plate. And for the final touch, we'll garnish it with some fresh parsley. Check it out, bacalao a la riojana, a beautiful Spanish cod dish from the region of La Rioja. Easy to make, stunning presentation, and all done in about 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, bacalao a la riojana. Check how beautiful this turned out. Here we go. That was a very greedy bite. Uh, first things first, the cod is beautifully cooked through. Held its shape, but it just melts in your mouth. The importance of uh, flouring it before you cook it. And then all the vegetables with the paprika, the white wine, explosion of so many flavors. Folks, you saw this easy to make, done in about 30 minutes. In my opinion, truly one of the best fish recipes from Spain, if not possibly the entire world, because it is that good. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Don Dayan, Hel Gonzalez, and Dar Moratini. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.